A man known as Short Boss has been charged in relation to an incident in Morant Bay. The St. Thomas police have arrested and charged 39-year-old Downer, also called Short Man or Short Boss, of Martinique Crescent Retreat in the parish of St. Thomas, with taking the life of an individual along Church Street in Morant Bay in the parish of St. Thomas on February 4th. The individual who passed away is 30-year-old Homroy, a taxi operator of C40 District in St. Thomas. Reports coming from the police are that at approximately 12.50 p.m., the two men got into a dispute during which a dangerous tool was used to harm Omroy. He was rushed to the hospital where he passed away while undergoing treatment. Downer was later arrested and was charged following a subsequent interrogation session with investigators. A date for his appearance in court is being finalized by the police team in St. Thomas. Controversial radio personality Muta Baruka is demanding an apology from Fanton Moja. He has said that he will sue Fanton Moja if he does not receive the apology. The radio broadcaster Muta Baruka has said that he will take legal action against Fanton Moja as a result of some statements that were made by the DJ about the well-known poet. Muta Baruka has said that he has plans to pursue legal action on his return to the corporate area. At the moment, he says that he's not following this issue up. He says that he's going to take part in Calabash via a virtual medium at Treasure Beach. But he says that he already has said what he needs to say, and when he returns, he will figure it out. He said that if he doesn't get an apology from Fanton Moja, he will pursue legal action. The comments in question are reportedly coming from Fanton Moja in relation to Muta Baruka and one of Jamaica's reggae legends and a former Miss World, who is also the mother of another major reggae superstar in Jamaica. Fanton Moja had taken umbrage to Mutabaruka's purported critique of his recent Fire King video and his musings regarding Fanton's apparent deviation from his commitment to the principles of the Rastafarian Bobo Ashanti order. Mutabaruka in an audio clip has expressed surprise and shock at Fanton's broad side. He said that he was shocked to see what the content of the video was in relation to. Of course, the video is currently circulating on social media, showcasing Fanton Moja, stating some very harsh statements about Muta Baruka and some other individuals. Former police officer has passed away during a road incident in the parish of Westmoreland. A former police sergeant passed away as a result of harm that he sustained when a trailer transporting sugarcane overturned on the motor truck which he was driving in in the parish of Westmoreland on Wednesday. The man who passed away has been identified as 48-year-old businessman Christopher McDaniel, who is a former police officer of White House in Westmoreland. Reports are that at approximately 4.20 p.m., an international motor truck with a trailer laden with cane was traveling on the Cornwall Main Road in the parish. Further reports are that the trailer driver, who is assumed to be 65 years old, was negotiating a corner when he lost control of the vehicle. The international truck then overturned and crushed an Isuzu motor truck driven by McDaniel in the opposite direction. The police were alerted and McDaniel was later pronounced by the medical team at the hospital. The condition of the trailer driver is currently unknown. While serving as a police officer, McDaniel was charged in December of 2018 for serious issues in relation to possession of and the transportation of 2,445 pounds of serious substances. He was later fined $15,000 or 12 months to serve for the possession of serious substance and $750,000 or 18 months for transportation of same. Additionally, he was also given 12 months, which was suspended for three years. These sentences were handed down in the Nova Parish Court 
on February 1st, 2019. It was reported that in July 2017, a truck that was being driven by McDaniel, who was then a police sergeant, was intercepted in Green Island, Anova. The truck contained 48 knitted bags with serious substance weighing a total of 2,445 pounds, according to the evidence that was presented in court. The police officer, along with two other men, were arrested and charged in relation to the serious substance. One of the men pleaded guilty while the other was freed of the charges against him. At the trial, Mr. McDaniel insisted that he had no knowledge that the serious substance was inside the vehicle which he claimed belonged to a relative of his. He insisted that he had been called to drive the truck for someone. However, he was found guilty by senior parish judge Sharon Barnes at the end of the trial. Grammy Award-winning dancehall entertainer from Jamaica Beanie Man has said that he is not guilty in relation to charges over keeping illegal parties during the pandemic in Jamaica. He will return to the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on April 19th when his trial surrounding charges that he breached the Disaster Risk Management and Noise Abatement Acts in Jamaica is slated to start. The artist, whose real name is Moses Davis, pleaded not guilty to two charges in court on Wednesday morning in the presence of his attorney, Roderick Gordon. The charges that were read out state that the artist failed to obtain permission from the superintendent, which is contrary to the Noise Abatement Act, and that there was a breach of the curfew contrary to the relevant disaster relief management order. Beanie Man has been given two charges in connection to an alleged illegal party in the Shrewsbury district of St. Elizabeth on November 29th. The police reportedly turned up at the party, dispersed the crowd, and Beanie Man was warned for prosecution. The 47-year-old's promotion of a subsequent New Year's Eve party in December for the earned are of law officers in the parish, and he was summoned to the Black River Police Station, where he was charged for breaching protocols with the November 29th party. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what is your opinion on all of the matters that have been discussed. Well... The police officer who was charged in relation to some serious substance possession some years ago has passed away in a car incident on the road. And of course, short boss has been charged in relation to taking the life of another gentleman in broad daylight. And of course, a beanie man has been charged in relation to some serious matters as well. And of course, we will await to see what will happen on April 19th when he returns to the St. Elizabeth Parish Court. Of course, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And remember to be vigilant and safe at all times. Have a wonderful day.